If you want to see how to get the sport displays activated on your BMW 3 or 4 series, then we'll explain how to do that in just a few minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW 3 or 4 series. We're talking specifically about F30, F31, F32, F33 or F36. This is the 3, 4 series BMW from year 2013 all the way to year 2019. If you have one of those, you want to see how to program to have the sport displays guys, the horsepower and torque displays in the iDrive screens. That just will explain how you can easily do that in just less than a few minutes. You can activate them and it's a really cool feature so let's go ahead and explain how to do that now but before we start guys let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we guys take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything transmissions engines uh, suspension bodywork anything why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you need to buy any parts tools for your bmw at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below so let's start on it now when you guys do coding we have a battery charger connected right here you can see or diagnostics you have to have stable voltage otherwise okay things can go chaotic it can interrupt coding and you can damage your vehicle so make sure you have good battery voltage through the whole time so let's explain how you can simply connect okay the port tuner uh, you guys have the uh, wired connection that you can do okay with the obd and usb but this is the bluetooth wireless this is amazing guys that little bitty device it's super powerful just when you do diagnostics coding especially guys okay just to avoid interruptions with other bluetooths and wi-fi's it's recommended if you use bluetooth turn your uh, wi-fi off and turn all your other bluetooth connections off okay now i'm going to go ahead plug it in here okay it's very tight fit by the way let me see now okay perfect you will see lights will go there guys now okay you can see and once it connects okay we have one uh, green light blinking there as well here let us show you now on the inside what you will need to do it's recommended guys to turn ignition switch on have a battery charger okay to keep constant supply on the battery because when you do coding diagnostics you should have stable voltage above 12.5 even if you're tired of that message at the beginning you want to get rid of it you can program it with that thing so now we're going to open the phone okay uh, and this is guys the app right here here we're going to select the bluetooth connection and if i scroll down i click right here okay you're going to see the bluetooth okay we're going to click beamer geeks the password for ours was one two three four okay it's a safe device okay well, it's uh, there you can see right now available devices and this is it right here now what i need to do at that point okay i go back to the app and i click connect connect you can see it says we recommend disabling wi-fi and any other bluetooth connections so it doesn't interfere we're going to go ahead and connect it now it's finishing up things may start dinging in the car okay now confirm perfect you have all the different okay computers here now available so now guys what we need to do we need to go now okay right here to multi ecu vehicle click coding right here in the coding we're going to wait for everything to turn on okay perfect now we're going to go ahead and look for that okay sport displays so let's see where that will be okay located you can see how many different things okay you can code by the way so let's see right here under cluster climate control somewhere here guys okay it will be very soon radio system let's see video in motion temperature real-time traffic there's so many things that you can do by the way it's unbelievable so let me see exactly okay uh, where that one was we might need to go under okay uh, under cluster let's see here what we have it's loading now 
Okay, let's type this one. We're going to put BMW F30 file number two. If I need, I'm going to back it up. Digital speedometer, startup logo. Okay, we can change to uh, M performance cluster, but it's not here. So, where else that thing could be? Okay, let me just find it quick. Okay, unlock, lock, and your eyes. Bob check view more. Let me see here exactly in which okay, okay, in which category that one is. But there is a thing that you can turn your sport displays on and off, you can activate it, and it pops really nice and cool in the iDrive. You can see how much horsepower the car is putting, and all that stuff. So, here, okay, let me see easy entry. Nope, it's not here. So let me go back actually and find it quick. Okay, because I lost it. So it's right here, guys, on the radio system. Right here, sport displays, tap to in cluster. You can do right here. You can turn them on now. Would you like to back up the current coding? Let's back it up again. I'm going to do under BMW 3 now, that portion here. I want to keep, okay. Uh, uh, everything possible. So here, now. We need to go to Sport Displays, Step 2 in Quaster, add in Sport Display options to the iDrive menu, click that, confirm enable, click finalize, now it's coding, has started, it's finishing up, check this thing out now, it's finishing up, it will say to circulate the ignition key on and off in a little bit, it's clearing errors. So it should be any anytime soon now. Success, code finalized. Please cycle your ignition. Turn on and off. Perfect. Close. So if we come right here now in the iDrive. Okay, we accept that. And now uh, that message, by the way, you can get rid of it too. If you need to. Or let me go back here to vehicle info. Okay, vehicle info. So like that, and now go to sport displays, and we have horsepower and torque converter displays right here available, guys. So you can see that definitely is a nice feature. That's how we do it. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.